All right, so I don't know how much you can see on camera. This is a low spot. There's like this little dip that goes all the way down from where I'm from behind where I'm at up to where Oliver's standing, my camera guy. So where you are, viewer uh, at home. Anyway, a ditch. I did a video on this. I think it was two years ago. I'm gonna have to find all that footage. I'm gonna have to find everything because we'll mix that in here and I'll show you. I have already put like four or five inches of sand in this and because it was way deeper than this it was a huge ditch and made it pretty flat and then some of it obviously settled over time to make more of a ditch so we're going to put even more sand in here so on top of the four or five inches that's already in there i was going to take a core sample just to see if we can tell like as far as what the sand looks like underneath the grass here um but yeah there was quite a bit like i said we went down like four or five inches already yeah so we've got a we've got sand pretty far down there this is a sandy core um it's kind of you know intermingled with the dirt so there's dirt in there too but the sand goes all the way down like that so we're a few inches below the grass um down at the bottom so this is a i don't know what is that a four inch plug something like that four or five inch plug and at the very bottom it looks like it's solid dirt um, but basically throughout the entire thing down to that point it's uh it's sandy. So there's, it's already pretty sandy underneath that. We're just going to see this as an experiment. This is Tahoma 31 Bermuda grass. We're going to put, I don't even know, this is going to, I could probably go as deep as I wanted because it comes down all the way from there and up there. So I could end up doing like another six inches, but this will probably be another like three or four inches of sand uh, up to that point. And we'll get to see at the end of this video, the results basically show you the Bermuda growing through it and how green it is and how awesome it looks. Basically give you confidence that you putting a little bit of sand on your lawn, on your Bermuda lawn anyway, not gonna matter. <laughs> so uh, let's do it. Uh, what I'm going to try not to do is also drag it this way. As you can imagine, if you pull the drag that direction or that direction, the drag will fall down in that dip and pull a lot of that sand out. So mental note to self, don't drag this way. <laughs> and then uh, we'll see how it recovers. Here we go, the final results, I guess, after a month and three days. As you can see, there's a little bit of scalping going on over here. That's for the mini golf course. I'm about to scalp it even more. But my goal was to get everything recovered before the miniature golf game. And we're pretty darn close. There's a tiny bit of sand left in there. Give me another week or two and that'll be gone. But yeah, anyway, I just wanted to show you this area has so much sand under here. The Bermuda loves it. it. People tell you all the time, oh, it's gonna die there. I don't water this any extra than I do any. In fact, this part of my lawn does not have irrigation. So I don't treat it any different. I don't do anything extra. The Bermuda just loves it. So if you have Bermuda grass, don't be afraid of sand. This is one of the lessons that I love to show you all whenever I do sand projects is give you the confidence that you can do it yourself. Don't be too afraid. There's been four inches of sand at least put here twice now. So. Like I said, just showing you the results. Hope it gives you the confidence that you can do your own lawn. And I guess we'll, uh, we'll see you later. <laughs>